up, what's up, what's up, lovely people? It's me, your girl, Gracie Maina. <laughs> Back again on this YouTube street. I know, I know. It's been a while. Inconsistency is just not in my... What? In my plan of actions this year <laughs> but i'm so 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 very glad that you clicked onto this video and that you have found it um worthy to just stop by and watch this video karibu sana if you are new i'm gracie minor i make vlogs on um, lifestyle adventure and life in general and if you are a member guys Thank you for your loyalty and thank you for being there. I appreciate you and I love you so, so much. So today is the 1st of May 2020. Um, I think it's been one month and three weeks since the whole um, quarantine thing went was implemented and the lockdown thing. And we've just been indoors. So today is 1st of May in Kenya. It's um, Madaraka Day. It's a holiday, but... There's no difference. We are still indoors, so no big difference. So um, that's my vision board over there, <laughs> my 2020 vision board. Um, still working and aiming and gearing all my efforts towards achieving whatever I have written over there. If you haven't watched that video on how I made this vision board, I will link the the I will put the link of the video in my description box um, below so check that out so today the first of may we are i together with my family my mom and my sister we are leaving for county 019 everyone guess what county is that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes it's county it's nearly county we are leaving today for a ceremony um that is to happen tomorrow um so I want to see how this one goes. I do not know. All I know is that we got a um, permit to allow us to cross to um, the other side of Nairobi, the outside metropolitan, Nairobi metropolitan. So I will just take you through and see what the process is like. Uh, so stick around for that, guys. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. How is quarantine taking you? How is everything? How are you doing emotionally? How are you financially? Just let me know. Let's link up, let's talk, and let's catch up. So um, as you can see, this is what quarantine has reduced us to. <laughs> our, <laughs> our natural hair out here. <laughs> Prospery. I hope this thing actually ends Haraka so that we can be able to go back to the salon yes. to be land up. Yes? Uh, we are about to leave Naitwa Twende. So guys, let's catch up on the other side. So guys, as you step out the house, Kama Kawaida, you got to wear your mask and carry your sanitizer. I hear Nyeri is raining crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I have my jacket, my picture of the day is this really cozy, warm jacket, um, this, I don't know, burnt orange top, my trousers and some boots over there that are not so clean. <laughs> so let's go, we are leaving right now, it's 12.15, mm, approximately Nyeri is two hours away. 30, we will be there and um, yeah, I will show you how how we're gonna how it's all going to be yeah. So I am finally at county in county 019. Yeah, I'm just about to attend the short event that is going on at home, and then I will come give you an update of how the day or how the journey was. So stay tuned. I like 
like about being um, in this county or away from the Nairobi hustle and bustle is because it is quiet first of all then it is so the air is so what what's the name the air is so it's not polluted like it's so fresh yeah so cool so fresh and like no no like guys but then like the Nairobi air that is polluted um gari moshi za gari mara i don't know i like being here because of the fresh air and the vibes that are here calm vibes that this place gives me and also the fresh air that comes from this place it is always a good time when i'm here um basically because i get to meet my people my family my extended family and um it's so laid back that's the whole point it's laid back and it's relaxing so once in a while i like to check in here and just relax and wind and and enjoy the company for my family members yes day four hi guys how are you doing i hope you're doing fine <laughs> i was currently editing this video when i realized that i did not give um the whole story of how i managed to cross from um the nairobi metropolitan to county 019 if you do not know we are on lockdown in nairobi kenya for 21 days that means we cannot cross to go to any other county um unless it's for a reasonable purpose and also people from other counties cannot get into Nairobi unless it is for reasonable purposes so um, the past weekend we had an event in my family and I had an event in County 019 and we were able to cross over um, to that county using a permit so I'm just gonna give you details of how we got the permit um, what we what we did was to go to the nearest um, the nearest police station where we were able to report and, and request for a permit to cross over to the other side of the county. So, so for anyone who wants to cross over, you have to have a reasonable purpose and evidence to show that you want to cross over to the other county and why you want to cross over. And then you have to include everyone who is going to cross over with you or who you're going to be with when crossing over and their ID numbers. That is how it is. Um, it is um it is happening around so yeah that's what we did and also you indicate the car registration number and um, yeah for and for how long you're gonna be in that county so for us we went on uh, what on friday and the permit lasted um was lasted us two days so it was we went on a friday and then on saturday we came back so it also gives the duration and the time you're gonna be there in that other county so the 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 what the process it is efficient in that if you have it and if it's reasonable you can be able to cross over so and 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 at the border it's not it's not bad um we have quite good um um people that are doing a very good good job you are fast tested and they get and you are able to cross over um to the other side and it's the same thing when you're coming or coming back to the nairobi metropolitan they do the same process they check if your permit is viable and who people in the car are they the people that are on the list and um, they still measure you as they as you come back into the nairobi metropolitan so that's just about it i know guys it's it's hard sometimes our loved ones are not sometimes for some people our loved ones are over to the on the other side and we want to see them and be with them but guys if it's not necessary please please avoid um traveling avoid traveling only travel if it's necessary guys and only travel when you have the right documents because you don't want to to be told to go back so make sure you have the right documents travel if there's really a need for you to travel and yeah let's just try and stick to what the government and the what the authority is telling us to stick to that is washing our hands sanitizing self-quarantine and also yeah let's just avoid moving around and and 
we will um, be able to deal with this um, story, this whole situation earlier than we thought. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, and if you do, please, guys, remember to subscribe <laughs> subscribe to this channel guys don't watch this video if you haven't subscribed it really helps if you get if you get to subscribe to my channel our channel uh yeah and also if you like it just share it out leave me a comment let me know what you think let me know how you've been doing and also give me a thumbs up if you like it <laughs> yeah that's it for me don't forget we shall overcome we shall overcome there's nothing that does not end under the sun so this one too will come to an end and we'll be able to go back to what we termed as normal life so that's it from me guys peace